Hi Scorpio, welcome to your mid-February, trying to remember the month, 2020 general tarot update. It's Rena here. I don't know if this light is too dim, but I just started the camera rolling as I uh, did this, so we will see if it's good enough. I'm sure it won't be. Okay. I don't even know if I want to say this message to Scorpio because I feel like Scorpios, um, if anything, that you, because I see this card, uh, Ten of Swords, the card of betrayal, and I and I feel like I don't want to say anything that would encourage you to be suspicious of other people's motives because you have enough suspicions to last a long time. So the heart of the matter is the Knight of Swords. This can be a person that you're involved with. Aquarius comes to mind, but um, it could be a Gemini or a um, Libra or somebody who is a um, has a strong signature of air. They might have a moon or rising sign like that, and they really give off that kind of um, more intellectual vibe in the mind or detached from you who is very emotional, whether or not you show it. Because some, some of you are really sneaky about that. You're very, you're like the poker face. I think if I had to pick one sign that's the poker face, it might be Scorpio. Might. But um, in any case, um, this can be a lawyer, a teacher that is in your life in some uh, way that is affecting you. But when I look at the past position here, we have the four of pentacles, and this is, you know, the person's like hugging money, <laughs> pretty much. This is a card of sound money management, or um, just, um, in some cases, very, sometimes overly materialistic. I'm, I'm not going to lie, but maybe somebody who has, uh, you know, they've got money to hold on to. So... With these two cards, uh, the knight can be a lawyer. The knight of swords can be a lawyer. And there might be something going on if this is like an inheritance issue or what have you where um, you're dealing with a monetary issue. And with the higher message being the ten of swords, which is a card of betrayal, uh, sometimes this can be a card of the worst of a particular matter is over with. So it's kind of like, thank goodness, uh, finally we have resolved this and I feel more like things are looking up. Um, so it may have been bad. Uh, maybe you, maybe it was like a lawsuit and you were holding on to the money or uh, a divorce where you risked losing money to the other person. But it's, it's kind of saying that you can relax now, the worst is over. In some cases, as a spiritual message, because it's going to be more than just the mundane um, prediction, if you will, but it kind of like looking at this situation from the spiritual perspective, is um, self, what do they call it? Self-fulfilling prophecy. So feeling like you're going to get screwed and then getting screwed and how expectations become reality. Um, in personal situations, it could be um, being like, um, for instance, Feeling, feeling like somebody um, betrayed your trust that you maybe even gave resources to. doesn't have to be a partner, although with the Knight of Swords, this person might be uh, a male, uh, might be somebody who is not very good with money, 
Um, what, what I mean by that, not anything about their ability to handle money, but they, they may not be interested in saving money. They, they might be, they're kind of like non-committal in a way. So if you lent somebody uh, money and didn't see it returned to you, it could be just because their life is chaotic as it is and they just don't have that stability right now. And it's accepting, that would be accepting that you got betrayed by somebody. Maybe you're in, in denial over it and you're trying to make excuses for it. Perhaps this person was a con artist. Gemini, I, I, don't, I don't tend to, um, you know, I don't have prejudice against any sign. But in terms of archetypes, and if this is literally an air sign, out of all the air signs, I could see Gemini being a con artist. Somebody who promises things that they have no intention of delivering. And whether this is a romantic partner or someone who was a lawyer who you trusted to handle your um, divorce or even like a, a lawyer that, you hand, that was handling some kind of like a, a, a will probate and somehow they screwed you over. They betrayed you somehow. In order to really move beyond it, you have to accept it. And maybe it's an ego thing of saying, oh, I didn't get bamboozled. No, not me. And really you did. Because then you can, you can see, yeah, because look, I'll tell you, this is the challenge card. And this is the hermit. And it's in, when it's in the challenge position, it's saying that wisdom was rejected, was you know, kind of um, pushed away. That you went against maybe your intuition, your better instincts, and did something um, for somebody that had the wrong intentions. They didn't have good intentions. Being able to admit that to yourself, move on, is very important. Um... In, in another case, this might be um, being greedy, wanting, you know, having a divorce settlement and wanting even more and getting yourself caught up in something and maybe like losing because of it. Um, I don't know. But somehow you weren't listening to your higher self. The, the, the hermit can be a Virgo, so that person might be problematic, you know, if there's somebody in your life who's a Virgo. Um, what's coming in is represented by the Knight of Cups. This can indicate um, an offer that is made to you. So even though you may feel that all is lost, it is not. That's why maybe I did get the Ten of Swords, because it's saying, you know, all is not lost here. You still have an opportunity to, um, to, you know, settle or have an offer come to you that is going to be acceptable to you about this particular situation and you can move on with your life. And then the outcome is a seven of pentacles. This is a card of assessing uh, you know, the progress of a situation, especially if it has a financial, tangible connection. So, um, for instance, if you have started, maybe the, this Knight of Swords person is a new relationship, and you have been um, seeing, or, or I'm sorry, I would say more like the Knight of Cups, because, because actually, you know, if I had to, these are two knights, notice that they're both knights, the Knight of Cups is a more, um, is a person that is more like in alignment with you than the Knight of Swords. 
So, um, in other words, they would be much more compatible with you. And um, so the Knight of Swords, that could be like an, uh, I'm sorry, the Knight of Cups can be an offer of affection, an offer of love. And you're like, okay, we're a wait and see approach. <laughs> that kind of thing. Maybe you start dating somebody and you're going to see if it's going to work out. Maybe um, you're hiring a new lawyer because the, the last one screwed you. We're going to wait to see if it, if it works out. Okay, Scorpio, that's what I have for you. I hope that uh, some of that resonated at least. <laughs> but if you'd like a personal reading, the link to my online store is below. Have a great rest of February. Bye.